So now the truth is starting to emerge. We were told on October the 7th that Hamas had indiscriminately killed and targeted civilians. And we now know that there is a very different picture emerging. One of the leading Israeli papers, Haaretz, has been updating and putting down the names of those that were killed on October the 7th in Israel. And the list is being updated and what we can now see is that there are many members of the Israeli occupation forces serving who were killed, which paints a very different picture indeed. I invite you all to go and check out for yourself. Haaretz is a very credible, leading Israeli mainstream newspaper. They are publishing the images, names and details of those killed, of those killed on October the 7th. And there are many IDF occupation forces, soldiers that were killed, which paints a very, very different picture from the one Israel was putting forward. Or why did they want to do this? Because they want to continue justifying the massacre, butcher and genocide of the Palestinian people. They want to justify the forced displacement of the Palestinians, a second Nakba. This is the end game. The Israeli government have made that very clear. And this goes hand in hand with the false media narratives that we're continuing to see put out.